Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Today I'm looking at something called Angels Fall First. Apparently it originally started as an Unreal Tournament mod, but is now a full standalone title, which uh, basically aims to provide you know, sci-fi combat from the ground all the way up to commanding capital ships. So I'm actually just going to step right into this level, which is inside an ice field, and I'm going to play offline because I have some problems sometimes playing online. Uh, <laughs> every time I seem to go online, I seem to end up on the wrong map, or I seem to end up with, uh, you know, nobody in the map or whatever. So <laughs> we're, we're not leaving anything to doubt here. So here we go. It's kind of reassuring that you can actually play this completely offline if you like. So this is the briefing area. We have like five minutes to go over, you know, the plan of action. Or I can just play the briefing here, right? I can walk up to this and let Gentlemen, the computer take over. 42nd and 23rd fleets have been running deep CSP and recon into the cold expanses of La Croix, into the Mer de Ver, the Sea of Ice. Yesterday, we got definitive results. And here they are. Anti have built a series of staging posts into the more stable asteroids. We don't know how many of these installations exist, but we managed to get good intel on this one. Perimeter defenses are stiff. There are plenty of weapon mines out there, so screen them with fighters before sailing your big boats in. And launch and support dropships on the station itself. They've set up a small fighter bay inside and some repair shops for maintaining larger ships. Get in through the transport bay and cut off their hangar access as soon as possible. We don't want them retaliating. With your beachhead secure, hit the two pre-cooling units in these caverns, then take out the main regulator. This will destabilize the station's structure and put the installation beyond use. To your ships, please. To your ships, please. Okay. So here we go. We'll run down to the deployment area and see if this actually works. Now, obviously, I'm not fit to be in command since I barely played this game. So I'm going to make the Milnet AI commander. I'm sure that will work out very well. But here we go. It is, well, this is supposed to be space, but as I've pointed out, there's a lot of stuff in it, so I shall call this place Stuff. Deep Stuff. The Edge of Stuff. So I can select my starting point here. There's a couple of spacecraft. We have the Yush Yushiro and the whatever this one is. Regardless, I'm just going to select. I start out in the crew quarters. These are very luxurious crew quarters, I will point out, compared to most US military vessels I have seen. Not that I've seen very many, but I suspect that uh, these have been made extra large. Now, yeah, over this side, yes, we have more. And if you look at that window, you just caught a glimpse of a flash of red. That is the hyperdrive or whatever still going on. Oh, and that, presumably, is us dropping out of hyperspace. And is that, that is our friend right in front of us. So... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this guy out of the command seat and take command myself. Here it goes. Well, look, we have a full-size capital ship. And as you can tell from the sound, it is driven by a vacuum cleaner. Yes, the, we shall call this the Hoover, the space vacuum. Uh, wait, vacuum is already a space. Is Space is already a vacuum. This is a different kind of vacuum. Ah, uh, dear. It's very confusing when you're flying a ship that sounds like a vacuum cleaner around any vacuum. It's like, you know, vacuumception or something. Anyway, we're going to head towards this target. There is an objective there. I don't know what it is, but I hope that we can blow it up because that will be kind of fun. We have a, an objective to board the Ka Kamen Frigate. I'm probably just going to blow it up, but... Ooh, there's my team. So I or ordered my gunners, who are all AI gunners, to basically fire at will. Pick random targets, pick whatever target they can, and uh, shoot them. And that saves me having to worry about it. I can concentrate on the flying. And that is a common frigate. Uh, 17 kilometers out. I'm just trying to get closer so that we can perhaps engage it with our weapon systems. Ooh, that's some sort of debris there. The animation on these models is actually pretty solid. So yeah, uh, this is a mod which has turned into a game. It's been in development for quite a while. It is early access. And I'll say it's certainly not lacking in content. There's a lot of different level styles going on. And there's tons of weapons, tons of models. 
Uh, it is, however, pretty glitchy because, I don't know, I guess it's just fundamentally there's a lot of stuff they had to do to make the thing work and it, it seems that it doesn't respond well to high network latency. Okay, here is my target. I'm just going to keep hitting this and hopefully we can knock it down so we can cripple the ship or whatever. I have run around inside these ships incidentally after they've taken excessive amounts of damage and you can see stuff inside on fire and exploding. It's pretty cool when it happens. Especially if your ship is, is like literally tight. Oh, let them have it! Let all the guns, all weapons, full power attacking the ENV. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, two, three, four, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Oh, yes, oh, wait, scraping my paint there. Uh-oh, I've blown up a weapon, maybe because I scraped it against that big chunk of ice. Still, that, that I have to say, I think I'm in looking in better shape than that target there. Oh, 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 maybe I should target that, blow it up, target the weapon systems. <gasps> I got the first blood bar. The first blood bar is obviously where vampires go to drink. Um, okay, I'm just running around, gonna try and fly a space fighter instead since I'm tired of flying this big, you know, huge hulking monster of a vessel. I want to fly something fast and agile and something that pulls G's. Yes, we all love the G's. Um, let's see, this is the way. Nope. This is probably not the way. Sorry if you were doing any operating procedures or anything there, but I am just trying to get my way to the flight deck as quickly as possible and you happen to be in the way. Ah, there we go. Flight deck with the vehicles of the aircraft, the spacecraft, lined up on either side and I just run up to one. And there's a whole loadout window here, of course, some of the loadouts, I think, require certain uh, awards to have been achieved so you can get them. I haven't really achieved very much, so I don't get them. Instead, I just take the default version. So let's find some targets. I'm looking for a hostile. We have a new, have a new job for me. Okay. I'm just hoping there's a target there. Come on, yes! Well, that's one down. This one, oh, down around there. So it flies a bit like, you know, six degree of freedom. You can strafe and everything. And, uh, accelerating forwards is faster because you have your boost capability. That's the green indicator on the left side gauge, the circular gauge there. I'm being asked to board an Anubis battleship, but I'm not sure I'm really up for that. Instead, I'm just going to fly around it and shoot some targets, just because... Why not? So, look, okay. Um, this is obviously a game which is pretty grand in terms of scope. There's certain other games have talked... Oh! I've talked about... Can we get this thing? You know, having the ability to fly the ship and then pull out your sidearm and board the ship and jump in space fighters. This is just like something that people have wanted to do for a long time. Yes, Derek Smarts has obviously tried to do this badly in the past, but this is uh, this is actually a really solid contender for this kind of thing, albeit not in the kind of open-ended way that we necessarily like. It is more like Battlefield or Planet Side in that you have a very, you know, these, essentially these set piece missions that you have to put together. And I'm on serious amounts of fire and dead. Okay, 99% armor, but it's looking fine. Anyway, just to show you some other things you can see in the game. You do have straight up ground levels, and of course you can drive around in light vehicles such as this, um, I don't know, this is a Jeep. There's, this is actually on a real server with, with other players. Other players seem to prefer to play levels that are ground levels. I'm not sure why, but it seems to work pretty well. There's a, another player there. I'm not sure what he's carrying, but it certainly made him an easy target. This this battle that I was in, it lasted almost half an hour. Look, you see, have some air support as well. You can 
jump in those if you have the skills. But yeah, I mean, I think I'm in particular interested in space levels. As you know, last week saw the most flagrant abuse of power we have witnessed from the United Leagues so far. The League's provocative blockade forced certain of our military units to take action to protect our interests. The League response was to destroy hundreds of civilian vessels, excusing themselves with anti-terrorism legislation. Okay, so this is playing for the other side, uh, who apparently really like to mix their music really loudly over their mission briefings. I guess it's just their style of being the other side. The B team, the A team, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Halifax Station, Supply Station, Complex of Modules, 10,000 customers, 150 crew, etc, etc. Anyway, on this side, I am going to have to defend it, and the other team is going to have to try and take it, and that requires space fighters, they require flying and drop ships, and then potentially there is a you know, there's a boarding action where you need to defend against it. So this this does have a lot, it doesn't have the capital ships on this side, the other side get to fly the capital ships. So it's pretty asymmetric. I'm not sure if there's anyone on the team that's qualified to be commander, so I should have probably just not touched that vote button, right? Here we go. Okay, let's uh, select the Halifax station and deploy. Oh wait, no, it's auto select. Deploy. Great. Defend Ixion Mines B. Okay, so they're... Ooh, look at those things taking off. Isn't that cool? Uh, again, lots of glitches here. Uh, I mean, it really is difficult to avoid the glitches. This is not going to be a glitch-free experience. Uh, if you get the early access version, you might have a lot of fun, or you might just decide that the game is too glitchy to be playable. But maybe the notion, maybe the idea of flying around in space fighters and then getting out and running and shooting things is, is just what you want, and you're prepared to live with some dubious technology, at least until they fix it. it you, you know, I, of course, uh, am really quite happy with what they've done, and I hope they continue to improve it. Here's a target here. I'm in my interceptor, obviously, I'm trying to shoot these things down. Or it's a sword fighter. We're just trying to shoot down the targets to make sure they can distract our people or whatever. Come on. There's a, there's a bit of gun tracking or whatever in this. Commander is asking me to hit some objective or something, but I'm trying to hit this target first. Thank you. That is very satisfying when it happens. Okay, so the game isn't going to win any points for its combat mechanics. The combat mechanics are pretty... Um, they're certainly derived from a first-person shooter. Okay, this is a dropship. I think they're going for the docking bay, maybe. Could be wrong. Oh, no, where's he going? Oh, change in direction. Oh, where'd he go? Um, I don't know. I'm hoping that they're not going to be running around inside my space station soon. They're warning me that enemy dropships have been launched. USN Dragoon under attack. Oh, look, they're gonna go. No, oh, oh, wait, what the heck? That might well be a glitch. It looks. Okay, I think. We have hostiles on board the station. We are engaging hand to hand. We have to detect, or defend, whatever, or security consoles, whatever those are. I'm just gonna shoot bad guys. Good thing I'm a defender because I don't have to think too carefully. Oh, there he is, there. Yes! Haha! <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with- Oh! Oh no, I'm on fire! I'm on fire. I'm still on fire! This is uh, quite a long- Oh, yep, bad guy, bad guy. And a bit of ammo! Knife, knife, knife! Yes. <laughs> oh man, how often is it that you knife somebody to death while you are on fire? That is, of course, you know, forget the spaceships, just knifing people while you're on fire. God, I'm burning for a really long time. That's like space suit technology for you. You can just like stay on fire for a long time. Okay, oh, 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 yeah, don't be shooting our stuff. Not cool. Okay, so that's my quick overview. It's called Angels Fall First. It's on Steam, early access. 
I, I think content wise it's pretty solid. Not sure about balance since I didn't play it for very long. Uh, it does seem that under you know, network latency things get kind of glitchy, but I, I don't know. I, I hope that they continue to develop this because I think it has a lot of promise to do a lot of things that people have been asking for for a while in games. I mean, certainly Star Citizen has said that it wants to have this whole thing working, but, you know, we don't know how long that's going to take, and this is here now, so maybe you want to go with the dead cert uh, or instead of waiting. And of course, this runs on lighter hardware, much lower hardware requirements than Star Citizen, so that is a bonus. Not sure if there's anything else out there. Star Wars Battlefront really hasn't, doesn't have the space scenes. Of course, Battlefront, uh, the next Battlefront will be along soon, and it will no doubt be an epic, huge game, but it does seem to be very much focused on your planet-side combat. And this, you know, perhaps you don't want to have the entire Star Wars universe floating around. Anyway, yeah, Angels Fall First. I'm Scott Manley. I see.